I chanced to meet a soldier friend of mine. He'd been in camp for several weeks and he was feeling fine. His muscles had developed and his cheeks were rosy red. I asked him how he liked the life and this is what he said. Oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. Oh, how I'd love to remain in bed. For the hardest blow of all is to hear the bugler call. You've got to get up, you've got to get up, you've got to get up this morning. Someday I'm going to murder the bugler. Someday they're going to find him dead. I'll amputate his reveille and step upon his heavily and spend the rest of my life in bed. Boy, the minute the battle is over, oh boy, the minute the foe is dead, I'll put my uniform away and move to Philadelphia. Yo, yo, draw me off up here, man. Here? Yeah, yeah, right here. Not, not in front of my house. My dad might be awake. <sighs> All right, see you, bro. All right, see you, boys, later. Wait a minute. Sierra. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't realize. I must have. I must have fallen, and I don't remember. But I'm yeah. sorry. I'm leaving. I don't really care that you slept on my lawn. I was young too once, you know. What I do care about is my statue. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I get it. You had a bad night, but the statue of our mother Mary, Queen of Heaven, Mother of our Lord, Christ, man. This statue was my grandmother's before she passed away in 1984. God rest her soul. This statue has been in our family for 30 years now. Ah, shit. How much is it worth? Given the sentimental value? A thousand dollars? A thousand? Yes. Well, unless, of course, Maybe we call the police. Oh, no, 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 fuck. All right. All right, just give me a minute. Ah, shit. I, it's my dad. Yes, sir. I should have texted. I'm sorry. I, I spent the night at Andy's. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. 
Bye. All right. I only have $80 now. I'm gonna need to go to the bank to get the rest. And how do I know you'll come back? Um... I'm gonna need your information. <clears throat> Alright, my phone number... Hold on, hold on, please. It's 617... Okay, 617... Oh. 710... 2293. Oh. Uh, two, Alright, but I gotta go... Hold on, please, a second. I just wanna call you first. Staying at Andy's house? What's going on here? Huh? I'll tell you what's going on here. Your son spent the night on my lawn. And he knocked over my statue of the Virgin Mary. It never ends with you, does it? Get in the car! Sir, I deeply apologize for my son's behavior. He will be disciplined. Uh, Look, here's my card. Text me for the value of the statue and I'll make sure that he pays you back in full. I've already discussed the value of the statue with your son. He knows how much it costs. Thank you. Well, any other problems, do not hesitate to give me a call. I'll send Aaron over later to apologize and reimburse you. Sorry again, have a good day. Sir, I'm deeply sorry for passing out in your yard last night and breaking your statue. I made a mistake and have learned from it. I promise I will be a better person and it will not happen again. For the statue. Of course. Thank you. Anything else? No. No. It's settled now. Thank you.
asked him how he likes the life, and this is what he said. Oh, how I hate to get up in the morning. Oh, how I'd love to remain in bed. For the hardest blow of all is to hear the bugler call. You've got to get up, you've got to get up, you've got to get up this morning. Someday I'm going to murder the bugler. Someday they're going to find him dead. I'll amputate his reveille and step upon his heavily and spend the rest of my life in bed. A bugler in the army is the luckiest of men. He wakes the boys at five and then goes back to...